Hey there, it's Elena Bear, and today I want to talk trash with you guys. Like actual trash. We're going to look through all of my empties and I will tell you what I used up and what I thought about it. Okay, let's start with these. This is a body wash and this is a lotion. They are from Bath and Body Works and they are the Honey Autumn Apple Scent. And this is one of those scents where you smell it for a second and you're like, oh, that's nice. Yeah, I like that. And then when you smell it for more than a second, you're like, ugh. This is like from fall of last year, so I don't have to worry about repurchasing that ever again. Now I've got this whole assortment of um, dry shampoo. And it's funny because I didn't realize I went through that much dry shampoo. Yeah, so I have three dry shampoos. Two of them are Suave Keratin Infusion dry shampoo, and one of them is just a basic Suave dry shampoo. My favorite right now, like the one that I just keep coming back to, and I just purchased another bottle of it, is this Keratin Infused dry shampoo. It has a really nice scent, in my opinion and I think it just works a lot better than um, the Tresemme and this just basic one. Okay, this is really boring. This is just head and shoulders shampoo. Um, I usually will keep a bottle of this in the shower. Like I'll, I'll only use it maybe once a week or not even like maybe once every two weeks or something like that. Um, just because my scalp does tend to get dry sometimes depending on the season, but this isn't like my main shampoo. Okay, so this summer, for the first time, I got really into the kind of, not fake tanner, but it's more of like a moisturizer that has a tint of tan in it. So like it's a gradual um, tan, you know, when you just moisturize. Um, and I really, really like it. I Back in the day, like years ago, I used to use the fake tanner stuff that just leaves streaks and smells terrible. And it, it was awful. And so I was like, I am never doing that again. But... I got these samples, these are just little samples from Jergens, they're natural glow. So I tried that because I was like, okay, what the heck, it's free. And I was like, this doesn't smell that bad. It actually works really well and I was super happy with it. So then I got, this is a generic version of the same thing from Target. Skin firming bronzing lotion, whatever. And I get the light skin one, obviously. And it was awesome. I was really happy with all of these. And next summer, I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this stuff. I feel like I'm kind of all over the place. I should have done like hair products and then like skin products and then makeup. But oh well, that's what's happening today. We're just going to be all over the place. Um, this is the Tresemme Hair Mask. You're supposed to put this on for like five minutes in the shower. Um, kind of like a conditioner, but it's just a little more um, moisturizing. And um, I am happy with this. It's, it was only like $4. It's not like anything fancy or it's not going to be, you know, like a miracle worker. But I think that it's nice and I think it definitely, you know, was a little bit better than just a regular conditioner. So adding this, you know, once a week, I think definitely helped my hair a little bit. My hair needs all the help it can get. So I think I will repurchase this or at least something similar. Okay, and here is the Tresemme Heat Protecting Spray. And I've already gone through several bottles of this and I have a new one ready to go. This is just my go-to heat protectant spray. It's cheap, I like the smell, and it works well in my opinion. So, I mean, it doesn't really get better than that. So yeah, I'm happy with this, gonna keep repurchasing it. Okay, I have this empty toothpaste thing. This is the toothpaste that I use, Sensodyne with um, some whitening properties to it. My teeth have always been very sensitive and it's just gotten worse and worse like as I've gotten older. I do have a sweet tooth, so I mean, and I have Russian teeth, which like if you are Russian, you probably know what I'm talking about. Like everyone in your family has terrible teeth, maybe. Is that you? Okay, so yeah, like, I don't know what it is, but I have to use the sensitive toothpaste because my teeth are. Oh, okay, back to another hair product. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm such a mess today. Okay, so this is Redken Ultra Straight Balm. And this stuff is magical. I really, really like this. Like when I straighten my hair with a flat iron, then I will take some of this, just rub it between my palms, and then just kind of like 
almost flat iron my hair again with my hands and it is so pin straight it's glorious like this stuff just is the icing on the cake basically when I want to straighten my hair I love it and I think it looks great the um, texture of it is not like too sticky or, or hard or anything once it dries it gets I just think it's the perfect formula if you want your hair to be super duper straight so yeah I love that okay and then I have this simple facial moisturizer this one is the 24 hour day to night cream and I'm gonna be honest I was not very happy about this formula it was just very slimy like kind of oily and it, like it just it, it didn't go away like it didn't like sink into my skin and go away like it just it was like I felt like I was just putting kind of a watery slime on my skin and I think that there are several other affordable moisturizers that I would prefer over this one um, I'm not going to be repurchasing this there are a couple other different kinds of skin products from the simple brand that I do really like but this particular um, day to night cream I was not happy with Okay, now I have the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro Face Primer. And this I was happy with. I think this is about $6. And you can get it at any drugstore, Target, Walmart, stuff like that. And I I think it's good. I mean, I, I was really happy with it. Like, there's some other primers that are um, in that same price range that just are very greasy and strange. But I like how this felt on my skin and I you know I thought it had a nice effect so I think I will repurchase this or something similar from Rimmel I just I really like Rimmel I think they have great products and the prices are unbeatable okay now I actually kept all the makeup items together so it's not as confusing as everything else this you can't even read the label is like completely scratched off and destroyed because I used the whole thing up I mean there's you can't really tell but there's like seriously no product in there Okay, so this is, you can't tell, but this is the CoverGirl um, Oil Control Clean Foundation. It's, it's like possibly one of the cheapest foundations that you can get from um, this one. I don't even know what color this is because I can't see. I think it's called Creamy Natural. <laughs> But I love this. I love this foundation. I've already gotten it several times. I'm going to repurchase it again. It's so cheap and I just love the texture of it. Like I've gotten some foundations that are like $12 or whatever that cannot compare to this like 4 or $5 foundations. Okay, now I have some eyeliners here. Um, this one is from the dollar store. You know, I was like, okay, it's a dollar. I'm gonna try it because if it's good then I'm scoring. But it wasn't, you know, that wasn't really a big surprise. I actually, it's not an empty, I'm just throwing it away and I wanted to talk about it for a second. It's not creamy at all, it's like hard as a rock, like it's like trying to rub like an actual pencil onto your eye. It doesn't get any color off and it was just like, be careful when getting makeup from the dollar store cause, because in some cases you do get what you pay for. So yeah, that was um, a fail. This um, eyeliner, this is Maybelline Define Align. And this I really really like I actually didn't even buy it my mom gave it to me and it's so creamy it goes on so smooth it does give you kind of a thick line which I like if you don't like having um, kind of heavy eyeliner then this may not be the right thing for you because it definitely gives you like a solid line which you you know you can blend it out with this thing on the bottom but it's it's the kind of eyeliner that I like and I use this all up and then I just repurchased it the other day because it's so awesome I really like how it looks the last thing it's so tiny I like used this eyeliner down to a little nub this is the NYX um, it's the one that's like the slide on glide on like waterproof whatever it has like a super long name um, and it's just in black and I love this and I do have another one that I'm using now because I'm really happy about this formula this is like a little more expensive the the Maybelline one I think is about four dollars and this NYX one is about eight dollars but both of those are great eyeliners and I already did repurchase both of those here's the last thing and I know every single person's gonna be super mad at me for this but <laughs> My very last empty is this EOS lip balm and this was like literally one of the worst products I've ever used in my entire life. That is not an exaggeration. 
Um, and I've used, I've borrowed other people's ones of different flavors. So it's not like this particular one just happened to be bad. I know that they're all the same. Mine was just like all the other ones. And I promise you, like, this made my lips more dry than they were before I put it on. Like, when you put it on at first, it's like, okay, that's nice. But for real, like five minutes later, my lips are like cracking and I need more. And I, I feel like they made this in a way that they want people to just, you know, have to keep putting it on every five minutes so that they buy more. And it's cute. I mean, it's so adorable. No one can argue that. This is so cute. I mean, come on, the packaging is like the best. I will give them that. But the formula, it like feels nice for a second and then it dries your lips out so much that you have to keep reapplying it and then repurchasing it and they get all your money, which is a lot of money. It's, what is it, like three or four dollars for this little thing. I am all about classic chapstick. Like I just like good old chapstick. It's moisturizing. It actually will like, you know, stay on your lips for a long time as opposed to this, which you just have to keep reapplying constantly. But yeah, I, I am not happy about this at all. So if, if there is anybody out there in the world that had the same experience with EOS, please tell me because I feel completely alone. So that is all for today. Let me know if you've tried any of these products that I've shown you and what you thought about them. And I hope you enjoyed talking about my trash with me. Subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!